These are the gates to Orsett Hall. In the early 1900s, this was the home of Colonel Whitmore, owner of the Orsett estate. Many local men worked for him, and in August 1914, they went to war with him and his regiment, the Essex Yeomanry. Luckily, most of the troop returned home, but because of physical injuries and shell shock, some couldn't continue with heavy farm work. The local employment committee and the government encouraged businesses to do their bit for disabled ex-servicemen. In 1920, Colonel Whitmore set up the Orsett Basket Works. Orsett sits on the edge of the fens and standing here a hundred years ago, we would be looking at fields and orchards. There was a field of long black huts here, which was the Orsett Basket Works, where the instructor, basket makers and willow strippers would be hard at work. Rehabilitation of the ex-servicemen was important, but Colonel Whitmore also saw the works as a viable business. In the 1920s, there was demand for baskets for farming, fishing, the workhouse, local businesses and for basic household chores. Things went well and the works employed a travelling salesman and had stalls at county shows. But by the 1930s, society was changing again and demand gradually fell away. The Orsett Basket Works finally closed in March 1939 and now the only remaining evidence is a few willows growing wild. However, the skills haven't been lost. Baskets are still being made in Thurrock today. Mm -hmm.